Geeky Fan GRL reviews Secret of the Wings dolls and pins. Hey everybody, it's me, um, Geeky Fan GRL. Uh, today I'm doing a review from uh, my bedroom because um, my office, where I usually do my reviews, is sort of a mess because I'm um, studying right now. But I thought I'd take a break um, and I really wanted to unbox uh, my Tinkerbell and uh, Periwinkle dolls. But before that I wanted to um, do a review of them and um, my two Secret of the Wings uh, pins that I got. So let's get started. Okay, first is... Um, this one, this is my favorite of the two Secret of the Wings pins that I got. And it's uh, Tinkerbell and Periwinkle. You can see there. Stand up. Okay. There we go. And you can see them hugging. And it says uh, Secret of the Wings. And that's a kind of a 3D element there is the wing and um, their wings are not sparkly but they have kind of a watercolor look as you can see there and then the background you can't see it really right now but it is um, glittery purple and it has secret of the wings and like uh, plastic right there and then it has the traditional uh, Mickey ears back and it's from the soda fountain and studio store in uh, LA it's a limited edition of 300 It is not numbered, though, as a lot of limited edition items are. And then I got the um, marquee pin for Secret of the Wings from the Hollywood Theater. And it has um, the poster art for the movie. And you can see uh, Tinkerbell has like a 3D element. And both their wings are in uh, blue sparkles. And they both have their little shoe puffs and, you know, wearing their uh, classic outfits. Tinkerbell's in her just regular outfit as opposed to her winter outfit. And then this is just flat uh, artwork. Kind of like a, a hidden wings design there and there. Um, Periwinkle has some enameling, but she's flat. But Tinkerbell is uh, in 3D. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pin back. Limited edition of 300 and I did get that on eBay. Okay, and here are my two dolls. Uh, I got these from Disney Store, and they are, I believe they're $14.50 each, so not bad compared to, you know, the big Disney designer collection dolls that I've been getting. Oh, and um, note, I will not be doing a Mother Gothel review yet. I got my package today, and the acrylic case was like completely destroyed so I have to send it back and get another one so yay for that not okay so here's Periwinkle and we're gonna be taking her over to the side for a minute because we're gonna focus on Tinkerbell right now and we're gonna start out looking at her face and I love that she looks um, really similar to um, the Tinkerbell where is she there she is the movie version as the other Tinkerbell that they have that's I think she's the same size. Doesn't look as, as accurate. So I really like this Tinkerbell. I really like her face. And she has um, some kind of yellow um, eyeshadow on. And she has painted on eyelashes. And um, Sorry, uh, my mom kind of interrupted my review for a sec. So... Here I am, back to uh, Tinkerbell, and she looks so pretty. Um, she has a really cute um, nose, and I love her lipstick. It's um, it's a really nice kind of reddish pink color. My favorite feature of hers, though, is her wings. I love um, the glitter wings. I'm a sucker for glitter and just, like, everything girly and, you know, like that. So I love her outfit because it's all done in glitter. Um, and then she has kind of this, uh, Santa suit almost, um, furry material. And she has a little hoodie there, and then she has her little sash. I love that they made it, like, look kind of rustic and, you know, not so perfect, so it looks like, you know, something she made herself. 
because she's a tinker and she makes things. And then she has these um, opaque kind of greenish yellow tights. And then on the bottom she has, let me see if you could see it, yep, she has um, furry snow boots with um, her little poofs that are all glittery. And now that we've taken a look at her outside, um, let's open the box and take a look at her inside. And that's very easy. I've done all the prep, I think. And then she just opens like that. And basically these are, um, there are these things all over the box separated by clear tape. So you've got to cut these and then it'll just kind of open like a, like a box like that. So I love her details even more up close. Sorry. She has um, great makeup, great lipstick. Her wings are really beautiful. They're the glitter, but they have um, kind of the plastic shiny backing on them. And um, I love her outfit. The fabric is really nice. Let me see if I could get a zoom in on that. There we go. Nice fabric. Um, this is kind of like a, a suede material. And then this is very soft, furry. It's short. It's not like overly fluffy, but it's really cute and it's got some little uh, green glitter there on it. And then her tights, they're like ribbed tights, but they feel like nylon. And then she's got her little snow boots here. And then um, again, kind of a, gosh, I can't think of the word, kind of a velvety material. Not velvety, but it's like velvety, but cottony at the same time. I'm not sure of how to put it. And then this feels kind of rough because it has the little um, rainbow kind of sprinkling of um, the rainbow glitter in there. So that is um, Tinkerbell. Oh, and she also has a feature of um, her wings flapping. So I'm going to try and um, make that happen if I can stand her up and do that at the same time. Nope. So, you know what? I'll put the flapping demonstration at the end of the video. Okay, so that's it for Tinkerbell. But basically, um, I'll show you the little button. That it has a little button in the back. Right right there, where the wings flap. My, uh, my fingers are just too short that I can't press it and keep her upright and keep the camera upright at the same time. Okay. So now we're going to move on to um, Tinkerbell's long-lost sister, Periwinkle. And she's a winter fairy, so she, her wings are blue. Um, she has, let's see, an almost like pinkish um, eyelashes, um, pinkish brown. And she has um, a little bit um, similar of tinks, but it's not as yellow. It's more like a peachy color with um, a little bit of rose in the crease. Uh, she has um, a little bit different nose. Her nose is more pointed, where Tinks is more round, and um, which is weird because in the preview she's like, your noses are very similar, but the doll's noses look completely different. So do with that what you will. And then she kind of has more of a smirk, and her lips aren't as full, whereas uh, Tinkerbell's lips are a little bit fuller. Um, and then she has her beautiful um, blue like icy blue because she's a frost fairy wings um, she has little pointy ears um, did I notice? I didn't notice that with Tink so let's see yeah she has pointy ears but they're not as pointy as um, Periwinkle's I feel like her ears um, kind of stick out a little bit more and then she has her little um, pointy updo with her cute little bangs and then her outfit is the same kind of um, velvety material as Tink's. It's got a little bit of sparkle to it, but it doesn't have as much as Tinkerbell's. And then she has like these little feather boa things coming out of her outfit. Um, her tights are opaque and they look a little bit more satiny than Tinkerbell's. Probably because she doesn't wear them to keep warm. She just wears them for uh, fashion. 
So now we're going to peek inside the box and um, look at her a little bit closer. So here we have her wings. They're very glittery. And she has the plastic backing on them. And she has this little um, plastic thing to hold up her outfit. And it's terry cloth. That's the word that I was looking for. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. It's like a terry cloth material, but shiny. Um, and then this is kind of like marabou, like I said, like a feather boa kind of feel. And then her, um, her leggings are shiny as well with the little threads. And then she has her little poofy slippers, and they're uh, plastic with the little big uh, rainbow poofies on them. And um, I think that's it. So let's get them all together for one last little um, family portrait here. And then where'd my pins go? There. And... Okay, and this is my Secret of the Wings stuff. I did get, um, I ordered, I don't know when they're going to come in, all the fairies with, in their winter outfits with the little um, glittery wings. So when I get that, I will um, post a, uh, a review kind of looking at all the fairies in their outfits. And, um, yeah, I'm, oh, and also, um, I'm actually on uh, Pixie Hollow. I'm a member there. So um, if you're on it too, let me know and let me know your um, your Pixie name so I can come and uh, say hi to you. So the next thing you should see is uh, me probably trying to make their wings flap. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Let's fly! Hey everybody, it's me. Um, this is just going to be a demo video of the um, wing flap effect that you got with the um, Disney Fairies Secret of the Wings dolls. Um, so I'm just going to use Periwinkle for demo purposes, but just know that they both um, they both have the same function. Okay, so I'm going to take the top off so you can kind of see, or maybe not. Work with me, Perry. Come on. So you can see it more with this wing, because this one is kind of taped up. But you can see how it goes. Um... How they kind of move back and forth like that. Um, and that's the effect. It's nothing fancy. It's not battery operated. It's just so, like if you're playing with them, you know, you can press it and it looks like they're flying. So that's it. Um... Let me just show you with the tank, because her wings are um, bright and darker, so maybe you'll see the effect a little bit better. Okay, so now with tank. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, so thank you for watching my review. Um, as always, comments, like, subscriptions are appreciated. And um, keep coming back for more reviews. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Comments, subscriptions, and likes are always appreciated.